Hi, my name's Lisa Putnam and I'm a Master Gardener here in Woodside. Today we're going to be mulching um, and why we put mulch on our vegetables and in actually any perennial or annual garden. And we're also going to be talking about cover cropping today. When I mulch a garden, what I like to do first is I like to take out any weeds I have. This was clover. It's actually fixing nitrogen. I want to make sure I don't take those roots out. I leave those roots in. The others ideally use, uh, leave the roots in, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. You can notice when I'm weeding, I'm just putting the weeds down onto the ground because they're going to provide a extra little layer of mulch. They are. All they are is nitrogen right now, so they're just going to add a little bit of nitrogen. I like these weeds, mallow. They're deep rooted. I like to cut them off at the top, leave those roots in, and then they decompose and they add organic matter to your garden. So I'm just trying to take the tops off of the weeds and leave the roots in place. The reason why you weed, they do provide competition for your tomato plant. So this tomato plant was planted about three weeks ago or so, early May, um, and he was just a little guy who is a master gardener um, tomato. So he's about this big. You want to bury him super, super deep. I use and lots of different things for mulch. I'm using alfalfa. I'm using it because it's handy. I have it available because we've got horses. Um, but you could use rice straw. You could use um, any kind of um, any kind of straw. It's best if you use a straw that doesn't have the seed head on it. They call that hay. And there's a way to remember hay is for horses, straw is for mulching. Uh, and you just put it down. I put it in about, I'm going to guess it's about two or three inches deep. You can see the wood chip mulch all around me. That's in my paths. So my paths are covered with, with wood chip mulch and then my garden is covered with um, either straw, hay, or you can use grass clippings. So what I like to do is uh, when, I, when I mow my lawn, if you're not grass cycling, which is actually the best thing to do is grass cycle, but if you're not grass cycling, save those, save those clippings. They're so, uh, they're so fine and they're a great mulch. Um, also, mulching conserves water, so you can water about 50% less when you mulch. And uh, I've got a 25 foot row here and I'll probably use about five flakes of, of mulch and that's pretty much what it looks like. Alfalfa actually does add some nitrogen to my soil so you can see how that's going to protect my soil from the beating sun and in the winter you want to mulch year round. In the winter it's going to protect your soil from uh, rain uh, going down on it. Compaction really hurts soil because it hurts the life in the soil. And that's my mulch.